Hey guys, it's Griff with Best of Magic Valley presented by Refresh Marketing. Today's one of those times where we get to do something really exciting and give back to the community. We're gonna go and talk to the fire department and we're gonna talk to some guys from the local police department and find out a little bit about the first responder conference coming to Twin Falls. So join us, come take a look and see what's happening. We are so excited to be in here right now with the Twin Falls Fire Department co-hosting the first responder conferences with Twin Falls PD. We've got Matt, good to see you again. Brian, Nicole, thank you guys so much for having us. Thank you. So Matt, first of all, tell us a little bit what this is. So first responder conferences is an organization that brings mental health and wellness conferences to different states. Uh, we bring in resources for mental health um, wellness on how firefighters, first responders, and military can have long careers and healthy careers. So you're taking care of our local heroes and making sure they're okay? Trying to, yeah. Absolutely. And tell me, how, how did you get involved? Uh, so I got involved, I attended my first conference in 2019 and joined the team shortly after. I just loved what they were doing and wanted to help. That's awesome. And, and you guys are uh, involved of, uh, with a team of how many people? So right now, I think we have five total. Um, three of us are here in Idaho, and then two in Washington. And so five total, do you guys get the opportunity to travel across the country? We do. Um, I don't, just because I have a very busy work schedule, but Nicole travels regularly with the conferences to different states and does conferences all over the place. That's awesome. And have you guys seen any benefits come from these conferences? How, how are you guys helping people? We have at least one person at every conference reach out and say, hey, I didn't know that I needed help, but after hearing what you guys do and hearing all of these stories, I need help, can you help me? And we get them in touch with the right resources and we get them the help they need so that they can continue their career and they can continue their lives. And that's a big part of the conference, right? It, it, not only providing support and showing the support, but you help them find resources, get them connected with the things that are gonna assure that they're, they're on the right way. Absolutely, yep. We do anything from you know, suicide prevention to alcohol and drug inter, you know, intervention to how to do financial planning and how to have more mindfulness, more wellness during your career. So like the fire department, you guys work 48 hour shifts. Yes, sir. So they're here for 48 hours and then they go home and they have to turn it off. And that sometimes is really hard for a lot of first responders, cops, dispatchers um, to turn that off at the end of the day. So we give them tools and resources to have a better way of doing that, a healthy way of doing that, besides you know resorting to alcohol, drugs, or you know any other bad habits that there could be. And our, our local heroes, uh, Brian, I'm sure you can tell me a little bit about this. Is it pretty common to see the workload is way higher than, than what would be considered comfortable? At times it can be. It, it all depends on the call volume of that day um, and what we have going on. So we can be very busy at times and in and out of the station. Some, there's some days that we may not be in the station the whole day. And I figure it, just like everywhere else, it's probably really hard to find the help that you need to, to be employed here, um, really, which helps you guys have to stretch yourselves even further, not considering the things that you're even responding to. Yes, so the first responder conference, I went in 2018 um, up in Boise, and it gave me a lot of resources where I was able to you know, bring that back here to the department and give that information to our command staff so we have that information available to us. So these guys were able to help me bring that information back. That's awesome. And, and there's a conference coming up, right? There is. When's uh, it happening? <clears throat> so we're doing a conference May 5th and 6th at the Canyon Crest Event Center. Um, it's two days. We provide breakfast and lunch. We have a social networking event uh, after the first day from 4 to 6. Yep. And then the second day is an, again all day breakfast and lunch. And then at the end, you get you know a resource packet with all the stuff from the speakers that were there. We have resource partners that come in that share their information, how to get in contact with them. And it's pretty much two days of just trying to get as much tools and resources crammed in that we can that are local that are available to you know not just firefighters but anybody in that field that needs 
those resources. And is there a way that people can find more out about these conferences? How, how can they look it up, find ways to help? So our website is www.firstresponderconferences.org. Um, all of our contact information is on there. All of our upcoming conferences are on there. Um, we have volunteer forums if anybody wants to be involved. We have donation forums, um, sponsorship forums if you would like to sponsor. A lot of issues that we've run into is um, training budgets and trying to get people to these conferences. They're not super expensive, but at the same time, it's a lot you know, with speakers and the venues and the food. Um, so we have a lot of rural agencies that have a hard time getting personnel to the conference. On that, you can do scholarships. Um, we offer scholarships to people that can't go on their own. So on that, all of the contact information is on our website. Corporal Hayes, thank you so much for having us out here today. So I wanted to ask you a little bit, the First Responder Conference, what has your take on it been? What has it been able to do for people? It was an amazing experience three years ago. I believe it was 2019, I believe, that we got to participate in it and have it here in the Magic Valley. It brought so many great resources to our community and also for our first responders. You know, your social workers, your health co-workers, firemen, policemen. It was awesome because it brought people together for their mental health and stuff that we're not normally attributed to looking for. So it did bring some really good stuff for those people. And then stuff that we just didn't even realize that we were probably going through, they were able to point that kind of stuff out and help us out. So it was a great experience and got to meet some wonderful people. And not only is it just mental health focus for people, but it, it's really de dedicated to our first responders, right? This is a conference just for them. Absolutely, yep, it's, it's not a conference that's open to the public, it's really by invite only for, you know, those the first responders and healthcare workers and social workers so it's and it's an awesome awesome opportunity um, and that's why we really want to promote this um, and get it out there to these people because they may not know they need it um, so that's why we want to get this out there and help them um, or they might know someone that needs help and just not sure where to go with it well corporal hayes in my opinion you guys deserve it every bit of the way uh, i'm glad it's coming and able to help you guys out can you tell me what do you like best about the magic valley magic valley is gorgeous we have all seasons but this community here is so friendly. I mean, if you come from out of state, people are gonna wave here. They're not gonna flip you off. Um, they're very friendly. Uh, so that's what I enjoy about it. We have a very good, tight community. We work together. They support us in, first, uh, in the first responders. Um, so it's, it's very good. Uh, absolutely. Thank you, Officer Hayes. Thank Appreciate you. Appreciate you. And you guys, I gotta ask one more question before I let you go. What do you like best about being in the Magic Valley? I love that I'm close enough to anything outdoors that I can go to the mountains, I can go to the river, but Twin Falls is super mild for the winters, so I'm not digging out of 10 feet of snow. This this winter, I hear there might, might be a couple of people arguing with you. Well, they might, but I grew up out north of Paul, so we had a loader in our driveway all summer, all winter long. I wouldn't have mind, ha minded having one this year. Right? <laughs> yeah, it would have worked. I'm sure. What do you love, Matt? Um, I love the availability of anything you want to do. I mean, you have restaurants, you have activities, anything that you want to do, it's family friendly. You can take your kids out and do outdoor activities or indoor activities, but there's just a plethora of stuff to do that you can do over and over. Right, and, and Brian? The laid back attitude of the people at Twin Falls. It's, you know, we, uh, we just enjoy the times that we get to spend, like they said, outdoors and all of that type of stuff is just available to us anywhere around us. Being able to walk out my door and go see the canyon anytime I want. We're pretty blessed, aren't we? Absolutely. And we are blessed again to have people like you spreading this kind of uh, atmosphere in order to help the people that, that help us so often. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you guys. Thank you. Yep. Thank you. Appreciate you very much.